A lot of experience difference. Debut versus a three and four. Out of uh, Josh, like again, Angela Sanchez coming out of Josh Nears Gym in Des Moines. Fight fans, this fight is scheduled for three three minute rounds in the DC Amateur Featherweight Division. Brought to you tonight by Big Brain Tattoo of Omaha. Introducing first, fighting out of the Twin J Tattoo Blue Corner. This mixed martial artist stands five foot four, weighed in 147 pounds. Tonight she's making her amateur debut, representing Elite Edge and fighting out of Moreno Valley, California. Angela Sanchez. We're putting across the cage, fighting out of the Nebraska Lottery Red Corner. It's a jiu-jitsu fighter, standing five foot two, weighed in 146 pounds. She holds an amateur record: three wins, four defeats. Representing Skywalker 101 Boxing Academy, fighting out of Fort Wayne, Indiana, Rebecca Wells. Your referee, Dave Jobin. Here we go. We got a female fight going on. John Jones asked. Rebecca, primarily a grappler. Let's see how she uh, so has seen her win some local competitions, usually a white or blue belt. She's doing a good job of keeping head position. Oh, beautiful good double leg. Takedown from Rebecca. Passes. Already Nice work. Said a lot of experience from Becca in the grappling department. Josh oh. Deere called for Angela Right to mount, right to the ground and pound. Oh, uh, bowing out's not good. She's getting her hooks in. She's the... It's getting really close. She's got to fight some hands. Oh, it's across the neck. Oh, she's getting under. That's tight. Oh. She's getting there. See if she goes palm to palm. Oh, oh no. that's done. Behind. This is over. She's doing a good job of fighting that, that yeah. hand on the back she's of the turning. head, though. She's turning. She needs a tripod off and shake her off. Oh, oh. Yeah, she fought this tough. Oh, see her arm is trapped. Oh man, this is tight. I don't understand how she's not going out. She's still fighting it. Almost looked like she was going out. <laughs> That's Turn under the chin. In. That's super tight. This is pretty surprising. Hey, what? Angela Sanchez, one the, of the resilience. Girls I've ever seen. I think it's because she's not, she's just not directly on the back. Like. Great scramble back up to the feet. Oh man, talk about fight of the night tonight. Oh, oh drop back for an ankle lock. I, I think that was a bad idea. She's got to rotate on this, though. Oh, we only got 10 seconds. Oh, Man, wonder how much uh, Rebecca spent on her arms going for that. We're going to round number two, brought to you by Big Brain Tattoo Omaha. Submissions or what? I, I honestly don't. I mean, the, it was underneath the chin, but I don't think she was that completely on the back. So I mean, I'd give it a 10-9, but definitely uh, Rebecca took the first round. 
see what kind of energy loss Rebecca had in that round. That's a heck of an adrenaline dump getting as close as she did. Props to Angela, man, tough as nails. In my opinion, Rebecca goes straight to that takedown, get the, the grappling department again. Yeah, I'd actually like to see her maybe go to the ground and pound instead. I thought she was getting some really good shots off. But, yeah, definitely looking for that takedown. Had a good double off the cage. All right, you got coming in with the smiles. You can see the experience in her face. Yeah, she's been wanting to fight for a while since her last one, and uh, medical issues just kind of kept her away from the cage. Oh, great teeth. Josh Neer calling for more boxing from uh, Angela Sanchez. Oh, good jab. Angela coming in with a lot more energy, staying light on her feet, throwing uh, punches and bunches. See if she throws something in front of that uh, cross. Ooh, great lead hook. Both fighters look physically exhausted. Angela shoots in for the double, doesn't get it. Ooh, oh, oh, but great punches man. off the break. Yeah, both look super tired after that first round. I agree with uh, Josh Neer, man. I'd be focusing more on my hands. He's just eating a punch every time she goes for that kick. Re Rebecca needs to go for that takedown, take advantage of uh, the superior grappling department. Yeah. Kind of throwing that lazy jab, and uh, Angela Sanchez just coming right over with that cross. Oh, Ooh, there you go. Beautiful oh, double good leg. Double leg. Wow, that was great. Justin here yelling for Angela to stand up. It's right on that cage. Let's see if Rebecca pulls her back. Rebecca's tight on those hips. Oh, there oh, you go, Angela, back to her feet. From Angela. She has a circle off the fence. Probably oh. the most exciting fight of the night right here. This is a great fight. One of the best fights I've seen this year for amateurs. A nightmare for a, re for a judge this round. Such a tough debut fight. Oh, there's nothing on that kick. Oh, great lead hook by Angela. I don't know if Rebecca just kind of conserving energy going into that next takedown, maybe. Yeah, she definitely needs to go back to that double leg. Got 10 seconds left. Holy Omaha, cow. Nebraska, we're going to the third and final round in this women's featherweight matchup brought to you tonight by Big Brain Tattoos. Oh, that was a great round. That was a, that was that a hell was a of a round. round. I'd give it to Angela with the, the striking combination. Big Brain Tattoo, official round. tattoo sponsor of Dynasty Combat Sports, St. Patty's Showdown. Yeah, I'd do that solely based off that Rebecca couldn't get any strikes off for that takedown. I mean, I would give her a little bit of credit because of how powerful it was, and I thought she got some good, uh, uh, like just some good drive into it. Did a little damage, but man, if you can't land much ground and pound nowadays, refs aren't or judges aren't giving much credit. No, not at all. I think, I think Rebecca, Rebecca needs to go back to that double leg and get on top. She won the first round. She needs to seal the seal the deal with this round. What could be interesting is if how much energy she does she have. You know, she went for that choke pretty hard in the first. Pretty good adrenaline dump. Drove them. Had one driving double leg that looked great, but then didn't really shoot other than that. So Angela on her feet first. I'm guessing she's got one good Here we go, last her. round. Omaha, make some noise for these two warriors. My guess is she's got one good takedown left in her. See if she can land it and stick it. That's all you need. Josh, yeah. you're calling for movement. Now, the only thing is if you have Josh Neer in your corner and you're in Omaha and you're Angela Sanchez, do you count on that round? 
I feel like you should always go into a round assuming you, you've lost every round up until this point. At this point, yeah. With three rounds, you don't want to give up one. Angela with a spinning back fist excites the crowd. I think she's just getting that jab going, man, into that two, and she'll start landing it a lot more. Oh. Rebecca's oh, doing she's good. up against that cage. Let's see oh. if oh, she just cocked that right. <laughs> the Angela just needs to sit right here in the middle. I'm waiting for Rebecca to change her level and go for that double leg again. I'm waiting for her, I think, when her get back gets to the cage. Thought she had her opportunity about 30 seconds ago. She starts driving forward close to the cage. I wonder if Angela did something to her hand. She kind of looked at it real we're halfway through this round. Oh. She's getting up against that cage. Let's see. Oh, circles off. Oh, great right hand. Josh got a minute left to get this takedown. I would listen to the crowd right now. She is up against the Oh man, great job. Oh, Angela's looking for it. She's a circle Getting away from that, that fence. Cage. Yeah. I think if the fight stays on the feet, she's got this round. Well, the other thing is, is she's getting Oh, there's the double it. leg. Right to half guard though. That being said, she is gonna have to get a little strikes off this time. Yeah, just one takedown can't win a, uh, win a round or win a fight. She needs to do something with it. She gets that left elbow going. Angela's got the underhook. She needs to use it. She's get back get up to it. her feet. Prove that the takedown didn't mean anything. She's got 20 seconds left. Great elbow by Rebecca. 10 seconds left. Rebecca's got to go hard these last 10. Oh my there God. There she goes. Oh, good right. Close, close Great five round. from both girls though. Would you, would you give it to Rebecca for that I little take down the ground I would give it just pound? for the last, just for the last bit. Causing more damage. But I will say I did believe An she Excellent fight between these two are going to judge the scorecards. I do think she was going to lose that round. Most exciting fight of the night. Oh, by far. Props to Angela, man. Really came back after a rough first round. That's a, that's a tough debut. That's a tough debut. Yeah, she'll be fine after this, I believe. Wait, wait, class is this? Uh, 45. Okay. Omaha, Nebraska, one more round of applause for these ladies. Excellent three-round war. Unfortunately, someone must win, ladies and gentlemen. After three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards, and the judges score it. All three, 30-27 for your winner by unanimous decision out of the Nebraska Lottery Red Corner, Rebecca Wells. <laughs>